Hey everyone, welcome to Vancouver Island Bushcraft. I'm heading up to the bivouac. I'm going to spend the night. My uh, wife's going to join me in a couple hours, three hours I think, just for a few hours and she's going to come back. She's not going to stay overnight, I'm going to stay overnight. It's a beautiful day here on Vancouver Island. I'm just walking down the uh, road that they put in here. They finally chopped all the trees down so uh, it's a little easier walking. And uh, I'm going to head off into the into the uh, trail so I can start heading to the bivouac. I got uh, my usual stuff. I'll show you that my kit out when I uh, get to the bivouac. Just going through a little bit of rough stuff here. Hang on one second. Okay, so got uh, got the SKS as you can see with the new mount. Haven't got a scope for it yet, but I, uh, hopefully I'll get one soon. And uh, I also brought the 22. It's on my back here, there. And uh, I got the new red dot um, sight for it because uh, my wife has a hard time seeing through the front and rear posts of the uh, of the rifle because she's got not so good vision. So the red dot's going to make it uh, a lot more fun for her to uh, use the 22. So. I haven't been to the bivouac for a while because the last, I think last two times I've been uh, camping is uh, not at the bivouac. So it'll be interesting to see what condition it's in. We've had a couple of good rainstorms, windstorms, and uh, usually when I go there, there's a little bit of repair to do. And I've been there, haven't been there for a while, so it's going to be interesting to see um, what kind of condition it's in. Everything's overgrown pretty good around here. Lots of vegetation lots of edible vegetation of course I'm gonna keep going and uh, when I get close to the bivouac I'll uh, give you guys a, a shout pretty much at the bivouac here turn you around there's water in the in the stream that's very good I only had one grail full again. I'll show you the other side. All right, let's see what this bivouac looks like. Got the side down, as you can see. That sure saves an awful lot of wear and tear from the wind. Doesn't look like there's any issues. Everything seems good. Huge water bubble here. That's a that's a major one. One of the pieces of wood fell down. But all in all, not too bad. All right. I'm gonna repair this stuff and then I'm gonna take this stuff out of my back, my backpack, and I'll show you what I got uh, for this for this particular round. All right, bivouac is as good as new. Took a whole five minutes. This um, this particular design, the way I did it, um, with the the angles that I have, um, it doesn't seem to matter uh, with the weight. I've had like a major amount of snow on here and water bubbles and stuff. And the way it's set up is they uh, the uh, pieces of wood will actually just give, and the weight will dissipate, and then it'll be fine because. There's, uh, there's no damage at all. I'm gonna have to change out the uh, the tarps probably by the end of the summer. Um, there's like little spark holes and stuff like that. You can start to be able to see a fair amount of um, um, light um, on the, on the yeah, under through the tarps. So I'm gonna have to change those. I changed them out. I think it was last year as well, and um, which is why I was able to get a side. So this time, um, with one of the ones that I'm changing out, I'm gonna put it on the other side. So I have, you know. This side is usually down, and then I'm gonna have the other one, I'll put this side down. So basically it'll be like an enclosed, um, uh, like, you know, teepee or bivouac kind of thing, but with, with walls. So um, I'll show you what I brought. Okay, so we got uh, the grail as usual, and a big thing of off, because there are some mosquitoes here, not a lot, but and there's some more of this uh, mosquito, uh, um, it's kind of a cream from the military. Um, got some seasoning, 
some uh, dental floss. Uh, got the pit mitt right here. Got the um, the hammock. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to set up the uh, the bushcraft chair. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, got the stove and the uh, fuel with a uh, with the tokes um, cup. Got the first aid kit. That's always important to have really close. There's also a um, um, a windshield for the for the stove, but uh, I don't think I'll need that. I got the uh, Sawyer Mini here. I've never used one of these, so I'm going to attempt to use this. Uh, just giving it a shot, see how easy it is to use and, and what the deal is with uh, backwashing it and just do the whole bit that we're shown. Got uh, three beer. These are some slim and clear. They're not the Mount Benson. I'm watching my ladylike figure. <laughs> so I'm just having three beer usually a night. Sometimes I uh, have a couple more, but uh, I'm trying to keep it down to three beer. Uh, I've got the chair that you saw last time. Some more toilet paper and cloths, some uh, wet wipes. A KFS set, knife, fork, and spoon. Got the um, silky saw. Um, got the the coffee stuff. So I got the cream, the filter, and in here I have uh, the um, the coffee and the um, monk fruit sugar, which has a zero glycemic index. Um, a pot, of course. All the uh, the uh, the plates. Uh, these um, fizzles plates. Uh, I can't stress enough how well these things work. Uh, unless it's really cold, then they, the, the snaps have a little bit of trouble keeping, keeping shut, but it's just a matter of warming them up a little bit. It's not a big deal. Always have the um, the cutting board. It's really handy. For supper, I've got uh, moose burger. I thought it was um, bear uh, sausage, but I picked the wrong one, but that's fine. That's not a problem. I got a bunch of butter here because I'm going to be um, um, picking um, all that green right there. That's all um, um, like thistle. Um, total mind block. Anyway, you know what it is. <laughs> I'll be picking that to eat as a spinach. I got the um, the poncho for on the ground for tonight. I got the uh, all-in-one fire starter. You have light this thing up and it starts the fire instantly. Not that it's going to be a problem because it's pretty dry. Um, got some ammo, some 22 ammo. Got a pillow, axe. Here's the two guns uh, with the uh, the new red eye sight uh, for the 22. My lighting, the schmog a combat sweater um, and to sleep I just have the sleeping bag and the uh, blow up mattress and that's pretty much everything that I brought uh, with me I'm only going to stay overnight so it's and, and again it's a fair amount of stuff that uh, I can fit in here and what I do is I repack every time I go somewhere I repack specifically for that uh, trip I had to unpack because the last trip I had the tent in there and uh, it was set up for non-fire use because the fire ban was on so I didn't bring I didn't have a silky saw I didn't have an axe uh, made sure I had the stove double fuel you know totally different pack out than this pack out so I had to redo the whole thing so you want to pack for your trip um, I don't have eight days of food with me um, uh, like I said I'm only gonna be here um, overnight leaving tomorrow morning right away and um, actually my wife's gonna be here in, in a few hours too so um, that's pretty much everything. I'm going to uh, put the uh, burger and the um, butter up in a bear bag right away. So I gotta go get some firewood. And as you guys know, because this bivouac's been here for a couple of years, I have to walk a little bit of a ways to actually get firewood now because I've depleted the firewood resources uh, close. So I have to do about a three or four minute walk, which is not a big deal at all. Um, I guess that's about it. I'll uh, get the wood and uh, go from there. Okay, well I've collected a fair amount of wood. I got these rather long pieces, a whole bunch of pieces there. They just have to be chopped into one foot pieces, which I don't feel like doing right now, so I won't. But that's plenty for the night. Most of the day, while it's late, which will be almost till 10 anyway, so pretty much the whole time, um, I can use the brush on the ground. The amount of brush is actually quite crazy. This is, this is basically how it is like everywhere. Like it just keeps going and going. So I can use that for firewood for hours and hours and hours. It'll clean up the area too. Um, the more fire resistant this area is, the better. So, so I built the uh, the uh, the chair, and I'll show you what I did. It's really basic. I didn't sort of go step by step with it because it's literally basic. So what I did was I cut two green pieces of um, alder, and these are about seven feet high. So there's two, and 
that's the bottoms and they come up and what I did is I lashed them together um, like you would with a tripod five times around three times around the inside and then crossed it uh, pretty basic stuff and then I left a piece hanging and then tied the two carabiners which were existing on the uh, on the hammock and I just tied it right here and then um, on the bottom of course this is a hammock um, in half right this is like a whole hammock and it's in half and I just put the piece of wood in the middle there and there we go it took about uh, I don't know two minutes to cut the wood down and about five minutes to build this thing three pieces of wood in a triangle and uh, I'll sit on it here so really comfortable um, holds my weight obviously because it is a hammock it's made to hold you know 250 pounds or whatever and it's doubled up so you know um, but yeah it's it worked really good I think uh, I think this is this is a good way to go uh, with the uh, hammock just in half there they're between 10 and 15 dollars at Aliexpress and um, they come with the carabiners attached and literally uh, you can just roll this up and put it in your in a cargo pocket and then when you get to where you're going um, uh, make the chair in, in literally five minutes it's, it's two pieces of seven foot uh, pieces of wood um, I decided to use green uh, green alder because there's alder everywhere around here and it's basically a garbage tree they uh, they block up the uh, the rest of the trees and uh, the cross piece is just a, a dead piece of uh, pine or Douglas fir whatever it happens to be it's actually part of my firewood uh, pile and then just uh, put it in the uh, in the slot on the bottom and that was it so uh, there we go bushcraft chair in uh, five minutes and I think it's this is probably the easiest way to do it and uh, you don't need to make a tripod you don't need to you know try to get it to stand up on its own you just lean it against a tree and that's that's pretty much it there's nothing else to do um, pretty basic okay what to do now do I start cutting the wood I don't feel like cutting the wood I think I'll I think I'll have a beer I'll have a beer relax and then maybe I'll feel like cutting the wood I'm here to relax I haven't been out for well, as you guys know, almost a month now because I've been busy doing the renovations for the house. We're going to be selling the house. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've been doing that. So it's kind of nice to just be here and, and relax. And literally, the only thing I have left to do is the uh, is the firewood and cut it up. And uh, I can do that anytime tonight. Uh, maybe I'll wait until uh, my wife comes, um, comes in. She's coming with a friend of ours, Ashton. And uh, maybe they'll help me out. And we'll just take turns cutting some pieces up and it won't take that long. So, yeah, I'm going to go have a beer, I think. I'll, I'll come back. I'll get the beer and I'll come back with you. All right, got the beer. Thought I'd drink it in a civilized cup, of course. <laughs> uh, not quite as good as Mount Benson's, but it's good enough. Okay, so um, a couple of augmentations with the seat. I've never made one of these before. You guys probably, those of you who have made them, know these augmentations. But those of you who haven't, I spread the uh, the legs apart more. As you can see, they're right at the edge of this piece of wood over here. So I spread it up more so that... Um, uh, my hips aren't touching the um, the pieces of wood and I also noticed because it's a bipod and you'll notice up top here one piece is on the trunk and the other piece is actually on a, um, a branch and you can't get both of them on the trunk because of the size of the wood and uh, the way I did it so I just have it leaning off to one side a little bit on the branch and it's pretty solid but uh, when you do it make sure both of them are on something so <laughs> it doesn't fall backwards because that would just be funnier than hell but could be dangerous I guess um, so now that it's a little bit wider, and I actually, I put the, the, the legs out away from the tree further too, so it's more of a reclining um, thing, and I'm not sitting up as straight, and now it's, it's, it's really comfortable. It's, it's, um, it's as comfortable as a, you know, um, a reclining garden chair or whatever. So yeah, that worked out pretty good, I think. So I've decided that um, I'm going to be losing a little bit of weight. Um, I'm in the... 240 range and I'm gonna go down to, I think 220 um, I gotta get my get rid of this poncho of mine uh, you know it's uh, not healthy to have extra weight on you so uh, I've decided to um, ease up on the amount of uh, beer I have and uh, and change my diet so that um, um, I can lose the weight and become really healthy so if you see a, a diet change um, <laughs> when I'm out that's the reason why I'm not eating any no pasta no uh, no rice no potatoes um, it's more of a um, uh, almost zero, zero carb or carbohydrate diet kind of idea. It's not an Atkins diet, but um, it's just uh, a high fat, 
uh, medium protein, low carb uh, um, way of eating. And um, you get to eat all the really good stuff. And um, uh, it works out really well. You lose weight and uh, metabolism wise, you're, you actually get uh, um, pretty strong and uh, you don't, you're not tired all the time. Look it up. It's uh, look up low carb, high fat uh, in, in um, that was a mosquito, in, uh, in YouTube and uh, take a look at some of the, the results of people who are on these diets. Uh, you know, all sorts of ailments just stop. Aches, pains, stomach aches, um, um, all sorts of stuff just, just stops when you're on this um, particular diet. So it's actually pretty good. So I'm going to sit here, have my beer. Actually, I'm going to spray myself a little bit of off because um, the mosquitoes are coming out a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm warm, so the mosquitoes are getting attracted to the heat. So, um, yeah, I'm going to sit here and have my beer and relax. And uh, when I have something else to talk about, I'll get you, get you on again, turn you on. No, that's not what I meant. Well, you know what I mean. Anyway, whatever. Vancouver Island bushcraft and fire, huh? uh, that's my fire yeah <laughs> that's my fire how did you start that fire huh? Stephen not Stephen's fire. No, fire my fire well guys it's um, about 10 o'clock at night and um, got the fire going everybody's gone had a great time with my wife and Ashton uh, we fired off the uh, SKS and the uh, shotgun the SKS adapter thing for the um, for the uh, scope uh, jam the SKS so I'm going to take that off and and I'm not going to suggest that for anybody because uh, it just doesn't work properly anybody who has a um, an ability to troubleshoot that might be able to figure it out but I couldn't figure it out so I'm going to take it off um, I'm not going to have any supper I'm actually not hungry at all so doing the weight loss thing I think I'm going to just uh, call it a day and um, just enjoy the fire and I'm going to watch uh, a couple of shows on my Netflix and call it a night and I got a really good fire going um, all the firewood got chopped up Ashton helped out and uh, we got all that firewood all chopped up so hopefully this uh, light is not in your guys' eyes um, I think I'm doing it properly because this is in your eyes this is not in your eyes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. And um, and if anything interesting happens, I'll let you know. But uh, as it stands, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it was a good night. It was nice and warm. Slept really good. No issues there. Went through most of the wood. Just this left right here. And, uh, I stayed up till about two o'clock in the morning, so that's why I used up so much wood. Um, no critters in the woods last night. No nothing. All quiet. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna pack up here and uh, I'm gonna get heading home. I uh, actually work today, so I'm gonna be uh, just heading home and unpacking and going to work. It was a really fun time out here. I had a great time with uh, Ashton and uh, and Bridget and. We, fire the weapons the um, the scope mount for the SKS I'm not sure if I mentioned this in a previous um, portion of this video but it um, it jams the SKS I'm not sure why we tried to figure it out and there's no rhyme or reason as to why so fire one round and then the action will stay open <clears throat> so um, if you guys are thinking about ordering that this is my first time using it and it uh, it doesn't work properly so I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to recommend that and I'm not going to use it I'm going to put the old one back on so you don't want to mess around with uh, with firearms obviously. The red dot um, for the 22, we fired about 100 rounds and um, had a bit of a difficulty uh, getting it zeroed in but got her done so <clears throat> that's good there. Um, yeah the bushcraft chair, That's uh, I think that's the, the big thing of this trip is uh, being able to put up a, a five minute bushcraft chair so I hope that's um, something that uh, you guys will try and, uh, and uh, pass on to other bushcrafters. 
So I guess that's about it. I'm going to get heading home, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Uh, take care. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We're so close to a thousand now. It's uh, it's almost painful because it's like going up one or two. It's like, oh come on. Um, but anyway, that's not the reason why I do this. Of course, it's uh, for uh, video reference of my uh, abilities, and also for you guys to show you guys uh, some of the stuff that I can do as well. So take care and um, sub, like, and share, and I'll see you next time on Vancouver Island Bushcraft.